Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others. They bridge craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Arjun Karta, a wedding photographer based in New Delhi, India, and he's going to be a speaker at Silk Inspire. That's a conference in Goa, India, from October 6th through the 10th. Yes, he's excited, and so am I, because I'm going to be there. Folks, this is going to be the conference to attend, especially if you're in India, especially if you want to go to India in October, which is going to be beautiful. Um, and Arjun Karta has been just knocking it out of the park for a number of years as a wedding photographer. So I had to sit down and talk to him. Arjun, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, Seishu. It's great to be here. Listen, I have a, a very small little favor to ask you. Sure. Um, I want to get... I know, I know you have a long history as a wedding photographer, but we have a very short amount of time. So I wanted you to tell me a little bit about your, your journey as a photographer. How did you get started? What, what inspired you to become a wedding photographer? And, and what, is it that you, what is it that jazzes you about wedding photography the most? Okay, that's actually a very long story, but I'm going to try and <laughs> bring it down into you know, keeping G- time. Give me a couple of minutes. Right. Yes. So here's the thing. I'm actually a computer engineer. Believe it or not, I studied computer science. I did that for four years, uh, right after school. The one thing, and the one thing I took away from computer science is that I did not want to become a computer engineer. I could not see myself sitting behind a desktop, writing lines of code, and doing that all day long. So no, that just won't happen. Now, now this, now this is obviously early 2000s, and uh, back then, photography as a career wasn't something that everyone did. In fact, photography as a career wasn't something that even struck me because, hey, who becomes a photographer? I mean, in India, everyone became doctors or lawyers or, or engineers or things like that, right? So I, I was lucky. I got a break in advertising and I joined my first advertising agency. And that was when I suddenly saw, hey, this is how professional photography works. I mean, this is how professional photographers went about shooting landscapes and, and architecture and product and advertising and all those wonderful things. So that opened a whole new world to me because I realized that, hey, there's money to be made. I can actually use this latent interest that I had in photography and become a photographer. So that's what I did. I started freelancing uh, for a bunch of clients. Uh, I probably would not have admitted this earlier, but uh, when clients didn't have money, they used to come to me and say, hey, Arjun, you know what? This is our budget. It's one fourth of what we usually pay. But hey, would you want to do it? I said, sure. I mean, no problem. So that's how we started. And uh, so flash forward a couple of years. I, um, this was 2007 or or thereabouts, and uh, this was when wedding photography in India still hadn't gone through the renaissance that it has now. Um, So back then, there was a whole bunch of wedding photographers shooting mostly traditional wedding pictures. There wasn't much storytelling. Of course, there were greats like Sefi uh, who were shooting in India, but but they were few and far between. So we went for a couple of weddings. I took my camera along. I took a couple of pictures just for fun, uh, friends and family. And I came back with stunning images. Or really, actually, I, I wouldn't call them stunning images now, but uh, at the time, they were wonderful. So uh, one thing led to another. People started asking me to shoot more and more weddings. And before I knew it, I said, hey, you know what? This is what I want to do. This is fun. This is exciting. I love shooting portraits. I love shooting emotions. And uh, a wedding had everything I could possibly want as a photographer and everything that I could possibly want to fulfill uh, you know that little bit of creativity inside you. And uh, that's how it all started. So 2007, 2008, uh, we picked up a couple of weddings. I think 2009, I quit. 2010, I quit my day job and said, this is what I want to do uh, for the rest of my life. So that's how it happened. Fantastic. So you've had a good run for about seven years. And and I think if I might be so bold to ask you, is it mm-hmm. mostly because of your engineering slash business background that your business has really uh, exploded? <laughs> well, I, 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 I guess so. I think a lot of it was right place, right time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I would be naive if I were to say that I did something special or that I did something great. Uh, I mean, I, I probably used a little bit of smarts and did a couple of things right. Mm-hmm. But uh, mostly it was right place, right time. Uh, when I started, uh, there were, I mean, when Trina, my wife and I started, there were a couple of people who were doing it and uh, this renaissance, this explosion of wedding photography where everyone suddenly decided that, hey, wedding photography is great and let's start doing this. That happened a couple of years later. 
so uh, so yeah but i do think my time in advertising really helped me understand how how does one take a product how do you brand it how do you put it out on the market how do you work with very very limited marketing budgets to be able to make your voice heard so yeah so i do think my background in advertising did help me uh, if i hadn't spent those years uh, in marketing i don't think i would have been able to do the kind of things i do today awesome let's talk quickly about your uh your presentation at silk inspire it's mm-hmm. coming up in mm-hmm. october uh yeah. i know you're pretty excited about being there i know <laughs> i am definitely excited i've never been to goa before by the way so oh, it's going to be it's going to be amazing i know and sefi has been promising me oh it's going to be fant- fantastic and looking at just his new website for this event my goodness my 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 mind is blown i'm looking forward to it tell me tell us about what it is that you're going to be teaching us at inspire well it's it's frankly still a work in progress i there are a, a bunch of topics i want to want to touch upon but most of it is about uh, wedding photography in the context of india uh, we have a bunch of uber uber talented speakers at silk i think each one of them has loads to share sure. but none of them are from the indian context so that context is really what i want to start building upon because indian wedding photographers do want to be inspired by the art and craft of it i mean we all i mean those the talks last year were were super they were super inspirational mm-hmm. but bringing bringing that information and translating it into an indian context that is something i really want to touch upon i think that my experience in working with a zero budget uh, <laughs> marketing uh, plan and being able to you know uh, translate that into something in an indian context will help I'll also be able to give photographers a very real world context on how to really look at the wedding industry don't get swayed by all the myths that exist hey it's all money it's all fame it's all celebrity it's all destination these are all myths so i want to be able to distill those myths and be able to tell wedding photographers in india that hey it's a great career uh, it's super being able to shoot in india however it's not fun and games it's not easy there are things that you'll have to do there is hard work that's required So this is the foundation that you need to build and if you do there's nothing stopping you. So I mean to summarize what you just said you you're injecting a dose of reality back into <laughs> what what is a bit of a fantasy, right? Yes, uh, that yes. a lot of people think it's easy to pick up a camera and become a photographer <laughs> and that's right. the end of that. Uh but yes. running a business means obviously knowing your numbers, uh figuring mm-hmm. out what, you know in terms of marketing you know, what mm. you have to be marketing almost a year ahead for mm. for weddings, right? I mean you can't be right. doing that I mean if your wedding mar- if your wedding season starts in June, you don't start in May for for your for your market. I mean I, I, indeed, exactly. Yeah, uh, you have you to take start months of planning. Exactly. So this is exciting stuff. I mean, I love the fact that you're bringing the the sort of the business side of things uh to to the audience at Silk Inspire. Uh folks, the conference is Silk Inspire runs October 6th through the 10th. It's going to be phenomenal. Uh Sefi uh Bergerson, who's a photographer based now in Goa, Uh, has produced this event uh this is the second year he's doing it it's going to be great uh, i'll have a a l- short list of speakers uh for you to check out in this post so please be sure to do that i'll be interviewing everybody including folks like arjun of course um who are speaking at this event uh and giving back uh so thanks a lot for doing that my friend i appreciate oh, it oh my pleasure my pleasure i look forward to seeing you there take care all right All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.